What's going on guys, I'm Lawrence from Crossplay and we're here with part two. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make Vash's finger tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you label each finger to avoid mixing any parts up. Uh, the fingertips consist of these two curved pieces and this top part. For this, you'll need a heat gun to heat shape the two curved pieces. Here I'm using the handle of a screwdriver to curve the pieces. But once you're done shaping the pieces, you have something that looks like this. Apply contact cement to just this curved area. Once they're dry and tacky to a touch, put them together like so. I'm starting from this end and slowly working my way down. So there's not much for the seam edge to have contacts. So you wanna make sure you have a fresh bottle of contact cement and ensure the edge is together. You can also use acetone to thin out some old contact cement, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So once you have the curved pieces made, you glue the top pieces along these edges. Apply contact cement, let them dry before putting them together. For this edge, I'm gonna start by lining up these two corners like so. so. With a little push and pull, you have something that looks like this. Now all we have to do is connect these curved edges. So once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. The rest of the pieces will just wrap around our fingers. Remember, anything we wrap around should be beveled at the seam edges to prevent the edges from undoing themselves. Make sure the bevel edges correspond to each other when coming together, shown here. So apply the contact cement, make sure they're dry before you put the two pieces together. I won't show you here, but that's the same thing for each finger. Now we're going to the knuckles and the joint between each finger. The bevel edges should be labeled on the pattern. Make sure these edges will be beveled at the direction shown here. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Apply contact cement, let them dry, and put the two edges together. If you did everything correctly, you should have something that looks like this. I won't show you here, but it's the same idea for the joints between each finger. Next, we'll move on to the metacarpals. All we need to do here is label them and then cut them out. This is where labeling becomes helpful. I didn't show you here, but you can see some dried contact cement on the metacarpal end. All we need to do is attach the knuckles to the metacarpal ends like so. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Like in my previous video, if you didn't have the Gorilla Tape, then do yourself a favor and grab one in the link down below. Put down a strip like this and make smaller strips like this. The first strip will be wrapped around your wrist like so. Take the index metacarpal, open your hand and position it like so. Once you're happy with the position, firmly secure it to the base like so. Do that for each metacarpal piece. Then relax your thumb and secure the metacarpal for the thumb like so. With everything done, you should have something that looks like this. Once you're happy with the position, we'll take another strip and secure the position like so. Next, we'll use a straight edge to make more strips like so. You can see the strips here. Each strips will be used for each finger, as you can see here. Now, uh, hopefully you can see what's going on. Now, if you try to slip on the finger armor, you won't be able to because of the duct tape. So instead, you'll have to estimate where the pieces will sit along the duct tape. Test fit the first piece on your finger before moving on to the next piece until you reach the end of the fingertip. Once you have everything done, you can test fit the finger like so. There should be a gap just enough for this joint armor. It'll sit right here. And yes, this particular duct tape is strong enough for the final build. And this is the key ingredient to this build. And if you're watching this tutorial, it's actually easier to fit the finger separately from the metacarpal and then attach each finger to the knuckle joint like so. So the key takeaway is to make these strips. With everything put together, you have an exoskeleton of your hand like this. The thing I like about this is not only is it low profile, but you don't have to sew or glue any of this onto the gloves. So it's, it's a complete exoskeleton. Let's finish this build. Let's take this wrist piece and position it over the duct tape like this. You should have something that looks like this. All we need to do is attach the band underneath the foam using some contact cement.
Next, we'll secure the wrist using some 3 8 Chicago screws. You can get them down below as well. They should fit in the holes like so. Wrap the other half around and screw in the cap to secure the wrist. And that's it for this tutorial for the hand and the wrist. I hope you guys learned something new and unique here and apply to your build. Oh, uh, one additional note, for the forearm piece, you'll notice it's a little loose here. So what I recommend is attaching a strip of elastic around this part to make sure it's a snug fit. So also these pieces I have in the pattern, but we actually don't need them for this build. And so you can just toss them. But, but with that, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe, if you have any comments, concerns, leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. I'm super busy, but thank you guys for your patience. With that, much love and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.